Good afternoon. Praise God. First of all, I just want to thank God for choosing me as his vessel and allowing me to be in such a mission or a place in my life that he can use me at any time because I've experienced the goodness of the Lord. And because of that, I just thank him every day. I'm here tonight to give you an example of when Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. And I'm just going to just dash right into it. First of all, the Lord went to the Mount of Olives each day to pray. And he spent nights upon the hill. He prayed there. He prayed with the disciples. Um, he was preparing for the last supper of the, supper of the Passover. Um, Jesus went out to the Mount of Olives, his disciples followed him. And when his disciples followed him and prayed with him, he always said, pray that you don't fall into sin. And this is what he is trying to tell us. And I know I'm, uh, I have read it, but I want to give it to you in, in my words. Um, we need to pray every day that we don't fall into sin or we don't fall into distractions. Uh, and this is what he was trying to tell the disciples and other people. God walked and he healed the sick. He even raised the dead. He was so, all he wanted was to people to love and to know that there's a better life through Jesus Christ. So, this, he went to the Mount of Olives three times, but this last time when he went, he went with the disciples and he moved away from the disciples because he knew that what was going to happen in the situation of being resurrected, he he was afraid. And I can only imagine because can you imagine knowing that in a few hours or day you're going to be killed and, and you, you don't even know why. And so he went to the Mount of Olives. He went up to the Mount of Olives, Olives and he prayed and he prayed and he prayed. But yet in that moment, he said, Lord, not my will, but your will. And he was scared. He was so scared. This is the part that I, I just love. He was so afraid that he sweat blood. Blood came from the membranes, from the, his skin. He was sweating just that hard that he popped membranes. But he, instead, he said, nevertheless, God, let your will be done. And the angel came and comforted him. And um, and that's how we have to do. I get so, I don't know, I just get so excited about the goodness of the Lord. And when things come upon us, this is how we have to do. We have to pray and pray, pray without ceasing. Pray until we see a change. You know, I can give you an example of, of when I'm going through things or I'm facing things that I know nobody cannot do or nobody can help me in this situation but God. And that's when I just say, Lord, I don't understand this, but it's your will, not my will. Your will be done. And He's so good in that very moment. He will comfort you. He will come and see about you. He will come and rescue you no matter what it is. 
My God is a company keeper, a burden bearer. All you got to do is just trust in him and believe on him. And, and he knows, the beauty of it is, he knows each and every one of us. He died on that cross. And I know I'm getting emotional, but he, they buried him. They hung him. They whipped him. They beat him. And he said on the cross, he said, God, forgive them for they know not what they do. I mean, can you just imagine somebody is killing you and taking your life and you can say, God, forgive them for they know not what they do. But three days later, my heavenly father rose again with all power in his hand. And because he rose again, I can live again. You can live again. And because he rose, he instilled that same power in us, power to tread over serpents and scorpions. He did that over our enemies. We don't have to worry about our enemies. He said, pray for the ones that despitefully use you. So we don't have to worry about what people say about us, what they try to do to us, because we got a father in heaven that's a comforter. And I just want to leave you with that. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you face in life, no matter what sin that tries to come your way, just know that God is a comforter. He died for you. He loves us so much that he laid down his life for us. So I give him glory tonight. I give him an honor and I give him all the praise and I just thank him. Thank you, Lord God. Amen.